Welcome to RV Woodworks. My name is Raheem, and in this video, we're going to unbox, set up, and run our first project on this monstrosity. What is this, you ask? Well, this is a Jinmitsu L8 high speed all in one laser engraver with a 40 watt diode laser in a 360 degree enclosure with all the bells and whistles, like a honeycomb bed, air assist, and even a light burn camera, all powered by one plug. Now, that's a mouthful, but don't worry. I'm going to break it all down for you and show you why this is the perfect first step in getting into lasering. Let's roll that intro and let's get right into it. Wait, wait, what? What are you doing? I'm still in. Hello? I'm still in here. Did I make the right decision? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that and would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. But I did what any reasonable researcher would do and scoured the internet and learned that there are basically three kinds of lasers, diode, CO2, and fiber. Before I explain each and why I think this is the best starting point for most people, unboxing and setup was a breeze. This laser comes fully assembled and calibrated right out of the box. The only thing you have to do is install the laser and connect the provided pipe for the exhaust. Well, I guess you gotta peel off the plastic as well. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I feel like I'm going about this the wrong way. Before we get into the accessories that come in the box as well as what you can do with this laser, I wanna go back and talk about the different types of lasers that are available in the market. Like I mentioned, there's three kinds. A CO2 laser, a fiber laser, and then the diode laser, the one that we're opening up now. Each one of these has its pros and cons, and I wanna highlight a couple pros and a couple cons for each. Let's first talk about the CO2 laser. Now, as the name suggests, it uses carbon dioxide uh, to generate that laser and it uses mirrors to get the laser to the project. Now the pros for this is it's actually more versatile than the other two types of lasers. Hands down. It can cut clear materials as well which the others can't. And when it comes to the con they have a large footprint. This is a much bigger machine and it has high cost entry point as well as a little bit more maintenance than you would expect. Uh, and, and the cost for maintaining the uh, product is a little bit more. Now, the second one is the fiber laser. Now, it itself has its own pros and cons as well. The fiber laser is not really meant for cutting. It's made for engraving. And so fiber optic is what it uses and uses mirrors to adjust the light to the project itself. Now, this machine actually runs a little bit different than the other two. Instead of the actual laser moving around to the project and doing so, it uses mirrors to do a much faster engraving. And another pro for this is, is that it actually engraves in color as well. It has its con, it has a very small work area. Again, they're very expensive, but probably most important, you can't cut with it. So it's in a different category in itself. So if you're big in engraving and you want to engrave color, then this is the way to go. Finally, we have the diode laser. Now the diode laser is probably the most easily achievable from a cost perspective for most people to get into lasering and it's fairly versatile. It has its limitations and I'll discuss those in a minute. But from an overview perspective, a diode laser, as the name suggests, uses diodes, single or multiple, depending on the wattage of the laser that you've purchased. Again, it also uses mirrors to mirror that laser downward. So multiple diodes will come in and the mirrors will point it to go downward to the project. Now, the pros for this is, again, like I mentioned, the cost. It, it's, it's easy point for entry. Um, has low maintenance as well. The main limitation for a diode laser is that you cannot cut clear acrylic with it or a glass. Um, if you want to cut acrylic, you can cut matte black acrylic and for glass there are ways of painting the glass uh, and then allowing the diode laser to engrave it, but it's a workaround and that's where the limitations for this device really are. But based on the cost of entry and the versatility of being able to engrave as well as cut, um, without having the large footprint of a CO2 laser, that is by far the best way to get started. Okay, okay, that's enough for that. Before designing and printing our first project, let's take a look at what we get in the box. First, we have the 24 watt power supply that not only powers the unit, but also the air compressor. Next, we have a pair of USB cables, one for the laser itself and the other for the light burn camera. Next, we have the micro SD card alongside its reader that contains some trial softwares as well as some configuration files. Next, we have the air hose that connects to the provided air compressor. Now this is crucial to prevent burning on your projects. Combine that with the built-in exhaust fan helps optimal airflow and reduces smoke while using your laser. 
Set up the machine next to a window and you can use the corrugated pipe and push the smoke outdoors. After connecting everything, setting up the laser to light burn was a breeze. Use the provided SD card and point to the configuration file. That's it. Now before running a project, we need to test to ensure we're using the right speed so that we don't get burning and the right power so that we actually get the result that we're looking for. All too satisfying watching a laser cut. Just remember that if you don't have anti-laser protective cover like this machine does, then you'll need to purchase a laser protection glasses. This system has all kinds of safety features like flame monitor, tilt detection, emergency stop, and even limit switches. And now for that first project. Everyone on YouTube starts their first engraving journey with their logo. But honestly, I was hungry and I needed some brownie points with my wife. So I searched the internet for some inspiration and found some of these signs that were going from anywhere between $20 and $40. It is much easier than you think. I only use four tools in Lightburn to do this. I found a couple of black and white images online and used the trace tool to convert the images into vectors. After ungrouping the vectors, I used a line tool so that I could use a scissor tool to separate the utensils. Repeated that same process for the door roller and then grouped the project back together again. Finally, I used the offset function to create the second layer and the text tool to write the words that are going to get engraved. But with that complete, it was time to get the project cut. Oddly satisfying and both layers combined took about 20 minutes to cut. And just like that, the project is complete. Now I haven't glued this together, but I wanted to show you how you could create a two layer sign and you could do the same and increase the number of layers to bring some interest to the project that you're working on. Um, and before I tell you the pros and cons about the L8, uh, I do want to say a special thanks to Sandspark for sending over the laser, but they're not paying me for this video or my thoughts. So there's no reason for me to lie. So I have some pros as well as some cons. The pros are uh, this laser is fast. It is accurate and it is powerful. It is 40 watts, so it is absolutely very powerful. The laser comes fully assembled, has all the bells and whistles that you'll need to get started with your projects. The only thing that you'll need to get is a software, which I use Lightburn, which is an industry standard, and you can find lots of tutorials online on how to use that software. So need not worry about having to learn the, how to use the software. Regarding the cons, there's two. One, uh, the camera itself initially was a little finicky. It wasn't centered correctly on the project, but with a little fiddling in the camera tool within Lightburn, you can get that working perfectly fine. The other is the exhaust. Now it does come with an exhaust. It could use a little bit more power and there's a solution for it as well. And I'll do this is that what you can actually get an inline exhaust system that you can attach to the pipe that's already there and basically boost up its performance. So my final thoughts are, Great laser, and if you're in the market to get one, SenseMart during the holidays has a great sale going on. And to top it off, if you use the link in the video description below, you'll get an additional 10% off your order. With that said, can't go wrong with this laser. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next one.